Dear, oh dear, it appears that Don Wells was dumped by Candace live on YouTube. Wow. So, Candace Bly has been doing the rounds and appearing on a few different channels recently. She has very recently appeared with Cam and Ali, who run the channel Cracking Cases. And on their channel, much to their disgust and horror, and that's just my opinion from their facial expressions and very odd, nervous body language, they reacted quite interestingly when Candace told them, I am done in regards to her partnership or marriage with old Donny boy. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. This really isn't looking good for Don. Could Candace have a new love interest? Who could say? But as I said in a recent video I did, Candace is positively glowing without Don. Now I have noticed since Don got gone to jail, that quite a few creators don't think Candace will leave him, but the cracks were showing in their partnership or marriage, whichever one it actually is, when Candace had the messages with the weird guy on YouTube. It seemed clear to me then that Candace's feelings for Don probably weren't as strong as they once were, and it would appear that Candace is so happy without Don, she looks like a changed woman, she looks relaxed, she looks happy, and she just doesn't look like the Candace Bly that I've seen for the past eight months. I would say Candace being away from Don is really working well for her. Life looks good. Grandis looks happy, even though she's apparently doing one again soon. But apparently Candace has some company. That's right, a friend apparently coming to stay. How lovely and how sweet. I will put a link to this video in the description of my video. The timestamp is approximately 1.09.17 and the video in question on Cam and Ali's channel has Walgreens in the title. So in this live I'm not going to say word for word everything that was said, you can go across and have a look for yourself. But Cam was saying to Candace, it's kind of understandable to have relationship problems and presumably Cam meant because of Summer disappearing and Don being in jail. And then Candace gave a great big speech about how she's no longer in love with Don. Candace said, I mean, don't get me wrong. I love him, but I'm not in love with him anymore. Cam then said to Candace something along the lines of, it takes a toll on your relationship, as in Don not being there and Don being in jail. Candace said, yeah, it has. And then she repeats, but I'm not in love with him anymore. I'll do anything for him because he's the kid's dad. But I cannot keep going the way I am going. If that makes sense. Cam then said something along the lines for your boys and for Summer, perhaps you have to do that. And again, I'm not quoting Cam word for word, but I am doing my best to quote Candace word for word. And just to note, Cam's body language is really, really very interesting here. He looks visibly uncomfortable, he looks shocked, and he looks very, very anxious and stressed. Is he scared of Don? Or is it maybe, like I imagine, he is a friend of Don and he was upset to hear what Candace had to say? Obviously, I cannot be sure, but you could see he was visibly affected by what Candace had just said. Candace then said, No, um... Donnie's going to hear this at the end of this, but it doesn't even matter. I love Donnie to death. He's my kid's dad. Hold on, Cam. Let me. Let me get this out. Cam then says something like, yeah, I'm not saying. And then Candace continues. Please. Please let me get this out. I love Donnie to death. You know, I love him because he's the kid's dad. But as far as being in love with him anymore, I am done. He just doesn't understand what, how, and what I feel. Ali says right, Cam says yeah. There's an uncomfortable silence, and both hosts, Cam and Ali, look visibly uncomfortable and anxious. It really was an odd thing to watch. Cam tries to speak and says well he, he then tries to say something else, and Candace butts him. Candace then says I love him, I love him to death. Ah, uh, no. Cam, this has nothing to do with you. 
or Ali. Cam said, no, I didn't. No, I wasn't saying. I was talking I. I don't want to say anything I don't want to get. You, you go ahead. That's what I was saying. Candace says, no, you're not, you're not. You're not in between. You're not in between. Cam then laughs uncomfortably. You're not. Candace then says, you're not. Candace then says, but I'm letting you know how I feel about the whole script. Cam then says, right, right. Ali then says, I understand. He's my hus. I'm married to him. He's my husband. I love him, but I'm not in love with him anymore. He has done, he has done what he has done. And I love him to death. I will always care for him, but as far as him and me keep going, uh, there's going to be a slash day. Well, at least I think Candace said a slash day. I cannot be sure, but I think that's the word that she said. Cam then says, yeah. So just to reiterate, I believe that Candace said there is going to be a slash day, if you know what I mean. But again, I'm not certain she used the word slash. That is just what I think I heard her say. Cam visibly puts his hand to his nose and says, yeah. Cam then said, well, I mean... And then he looks at Ali, hoping she's going to say something. Ali then tries to speak and says something like, you guys have just... Candace then butts in and says, we... And then there's a bit of a silence and Ali says, sorry. Candace then says, spit it out. And Candace repeats, spit it out, Ali. Spit it out. Ali says, you've been through so much and I cannot imagine the toll that it has took on you. But... And I mean, you have to do what's best for you, for your kids. And that's all you can do. So, Cam then said he. Candace then says, I love Donnie, but he is. He has to do what he has to do. And I can't do no more for him. Ali then says, right. And I just want to reiterate again here, guys, there are the odd word that Cam and Ali have said that I've not included because I haven't taken extensive notes. As I'm making this video, I'm listening back over and over again to ensure that I quote Candace correctly. But in order to get this video out as quickly as possible for all of you, I'm not quoting Cam and Ali word for word. There could be the odd um and er uh that I might have missed out or the other odd word, but where Candace is concerned, I am trying my utmost to make sure that I quote her correctly. Cam says to Candace, does he know you feel like that? Candace replies, no he doesn't, not yet. So I will just interject here, as much as we all have our views and opinions on Don Wells, we don't know for sure if he's involved in Summer's disappearance, and I do know that he has behaved very badly throughout his life. Often in trouble with the law, Don has been in trouble with the police on and off throughout his life. He has abuse allegations against him from numerous different women, and now his wife has just dumped him live on YouTube. I have to say, I have the smallest, and when I say small, it is rather micro or minute, shred of sympathy for Don. If he is actually on Suicide Watch, and his wife has practically just dumped him live on YouTube, I very much doubt it's going to help his mental health. I really hope that no one has informed him of this, because it's not very nice. Please don't think I'm a Don Well sympathiser, because I am not. And I am most certainly not a Candace Bly sympathiser. I just think because I'm a private person where my private life is concerned, and I don't put it out all over YouTube... I find it very bizarre and strange and also a bit sad that Candace thought it was appropriate to tell the world live here on YouTube that she is no longer in love with Don. I think it's a low blow and clearly Candace has just thrown Don well and truly under the bus. It would appear that a certain friend of Candace's then texts into Cam. Again guys you should go and check this out for yourself because I'm not going to share the audio or the video visual because I don't like to take other creators work. I recommend you go across to Cam and Ali's channel and listen to this car crash for yourself. 
the host's body language really, really, really was quite funny and amusing. They were so weirded out and shocked by what Candace had just said. And Cam was visibly really, really uncomfortable, in my opinion, much more than Ali. That has left me wondering why. Is it because Cam is scared of Don? Or is it because, and I do suspect this is more likely, that Cam is a very good friend to Don and he was probably a bit upset that Candace had just dumped him on his channel live on YouTube. Red flag alert for Candace. Candace Bly, the red flags for you never, ever stop flying. And then they all have a laugh and a joke about a text that's just been received. And Candace Bly really doesn't look like the sort of person that's just admitted that her marriage is over. Unless she was planning this and has wanted rid of Don for a very long time. Perhaps now Don is gone and in jail. Perhaps now it's time for Candace to get well away from Ben Hill, or should I say, Ben Hell Road. I do know that the house is not Candace's or in her name, so I do wonder why the house is being done up. I suspect Candace, once she receives a few more cash apps and donations, will be off because I can't see how she can stay in the house and split up with Don. Will she move in with her new friend? It appears her new friend is coming to visit her very soon. But will her and her new friend jet off into the sunset, leaving poor old Donny behind and in the cold? It would appear that Candace is speaking out more now than ever since Don got gone. That doesn't necessarily mean she's talking about Summer's disappearance more, She's just appearing more on YouTube. She seems more relaxed, more at ease. She's having more fun and more laughs and more jokes. And she's kicking back and chilling out with her buddies. There is nothing wrong with that. But what I do find wrong is telling the world that you no longer love your husband when you haven't bothered to tell your husband. Wow. What's worse that? Or Candace being asked by BK, what is your burning desire? Candace replying, doing up the house, getting my boys back, and then approximately a six or seven second deadly silence, during which a voice, a young male voice in the background, tells Candace, find Summer. And I would just like to caveat that I don't know that it was a male in the background, but it sounds like one to me. Some people think it's Grandus, some people have said it's H, some people have said Andy, who may have been a DD to Candace. I think you might know what I mean by DD. A couple of different YouTubers' names have been thrown out there, but to me, it didn't sound like Grandus, it sounded like a bloke. And then after the very long, noticeable pause, Candace comes back to life like a robot that's just been turned off, and says about finding Summer and how she hopes to God it might happen. I haven't quoted her word for word there just to say. I have recently covered my thoughts on that in my last video, where I pretty much lost the plot and got very angry at Candace's disgusting, appalling and shocking behaviour. The fact that Candace's burning desire is not to find her daughter, her number one priority was doing up the house, I found to be appalling and when I was editing my video giving you guys my thoughts on it I just happened to catch this voice in the background telling Candace to say find Summer. She can't think that for herself. She has to be reminded to tell someone who asked her what is your burning desire? Find Summer. No Candace can't just say find Summer. Some young man in the background has to tell her to say that, really. And then not long after, Candace is telling the world that she doesn't love Don anymore. Wow, dear oh dear, what a mess. It was interesting to note that later in this live, Cam said to Candace, it will probably be a good idea if you tell Don about this. All words to that effect. Something else Candace was asked by Cam, when was the last time you did something to make yourself happy? And then quite sadly, Candace replied, she's never had happiness. Ali then said to Candace, well, it's time for you to be happy then.
Candace also said that her and Don had been together for 13 years. How interesting. Number 13. Unlucky for some. Clearly unlucky for Don Wells. So guys, did you catch this live on Cam and Ali's channel? And did you hear the shocking news from Candace? She is no longer in love with Don and pretty much dumped him live on YouTube. Unbelievable. But what's new with Candace? For me, whenever I see the woman, I just see a red flag in place of her face. In my opinion, Candace Blight is a walking big red flag. In fact, I don't think there is a big enough red flag in the world that would do justice for Candace and her despicable and appalling behaviour. This has left me wondering what would happen if Summer was found alive after Don gets out of jail. Would Summer go back into Don's care? Or would she go into Candace's care? I'm pretty sure she probably wouldn't be given to either of them. I guess she'd end up in care like her brothers. It really is very heartbreaking. Especially if there was any chance that Summer's brothers could come home. The family that they once knew is now gone. Gone forever. But I hope Summer isn't gone forever. And I still live in hope that one day soon, Summer will be found safe. So guys, do share your thoughts with me. As always, please pop your comments below and I will look forward to reading them. Well, anyway, guys, as always, I hope you're well. I really hope none of you have just been dumped live on YouTube. And as always, I'll be back with you all very soon. Bye for now.